Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. As we inch ever closer to year three of Cartoon Hangout, I wanted to make this video. You'll see why when the season three video rolls around, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Now, this is far and away not a question I have ever been asked. So this isn't me responding to a mountain of fan queries. No, I just have always wanted to make a video about the My Little Pony fandom and bronies themselves. More specifically, my thoughts. First, I probably should answer the question put forth by the video's title. <laughs> no wait, the first thing I should do is explain what a brony is. It's just an adult male fan of My Little Pony. Though it can also be applied to the adult female fans, but they're more commonly referred to as Pegasisters. But to answer the question I myself put forth, I guess. Personally, I don't refer to myself as Brony, maybe because of the negative connotation or because I don't consider myself a big fan, but rather just a regular fan. Maybe that still makes me a Brony by definition, I don't know. You're probably wondering, how the heck do I like a show like MLP or why did I even watch it? Uh, to answer that, we've got to go back in time to the year 2012 or so, to a comic book forum I used to hang out on called Comic Book Resources. I was addicted to that site, like a druggie to crack. <laughs> I'd often just stay up chatting with my friends on the Ultimate Marvel boards, uh, the most common spot you'd find me. I know, super unhealthy. Somehow I, somehow, I ended up on a thread where a poster, whose username I've long since forgotten, was advocating for Marvel-themed My Little Pony toys. A few other posters were obviously taking shots at the idea, and for some odd reason, I joined in. I don't think I was nearly as harsh as anyone else, but it feels weird to admit that I had yet to become the person I currently am back in 2012. I was on my way, but there were some things I was pretty close-minded about, and My Little Pony was one of those. I just didn't understand the appeal. I thought it was a stupid show and a stupid idea, and I told the guy as much. And he, well, I assume it was a he, stopped me and said, have you ever seen the show? Now, of course, I hadn't, and I replied that no, I'd never seen the show, but it was still nothing but a show for girls and was really stupid. Uh, he didn't lose his cool at that suggestion. Uh, instead, he suggested that maybe I should watch an episode before I rushed to judgment. I don't know why, maybe it was because it was going on 5 a.m., or I was just feeling generous, but I did. Ironically, as soon as I turned on my television, My Little Pony was playing. At the time, the network was still called The Hub, and it would play other shows like G.I. Joe or Transformers. I can distinctly recall my very first episode. It was Read It and Weep. In the episode, the character Rainbow Dash was in the hospital and ends up discovering the joys of reading. I can also remember rolling my eyes so heavily throughout the episode because I was still not wanting to give it a shot, and it was probably a pretty cliche uh, plot for an episode. However, I did end up watching another episode after that, because there were a few episodes airing back to back that morning. And somehow, I just kept watching. I kept watching until the run of episodes ended, and some other show popped up. That show has its own story, but I'll save that one for another time. After that, I just sort of fell in love with the show. Its characters, story, themes, music, all of it, I guess. I watched every season that was airing, mostly through reruns. And guess what? You know how many of my friends knew that I watched My Little Pony? Not a single one. Not until some years later, at least. I just didn't feel like enduring what mockery surely awaited me. So I kept to myself and enjoyed the show alone. And that way... I guess I never really connected with the My Little Pony fandom, which is why I never called myself a brony. I don't consider my viewing My Little Pony any different than watching Pokemon, or Adventure Time, or Ben 10. But in more recent years, I have fallen off the wagon. The last season I watched was Season 5's early episodes. I don't know what was going on in my life at the time, but I just sort of checked out and never watched the show again. I didn't hate it or anything, I just missed so many episodes that I gave up on watching habit I have when I fall immensely behind on television shows. But that's my history with the show. 
writing this video honestly has been a lot easier than I imagined it would be. In fact, I've long wanted to do this video, but felt like I'd lose fans. No, I, I'm, I'm serious. I honestly thought that if I admitted in a video that I was a fan of My Little Pony, you lords and ladies would think less of me and lose confidence in pretty much any opinion I held on any subject. Like if one day I were to say, oh man, I think this show is good. Uh, the fan response would go, what do you know? You like My Little Pony, so your opinion's garbage. <laughs> to give you an idea, I'd actually planned to do My Little Pony reviews back when Cartoon Hangout had just started, but I thought I wouldn't be taken seriously. So I decided to wait until people actually trusted what I had to say. Is that crazy? I mean, a little, I guess. But bronies are among the most despised here on the internet. So I'm somewhat justified I'm not speaking out about it. And imagine that I'll get some hate for this video, both immediately and in the future as more people discover it. I guess I'll deal with that bridge when I cross it, though. Thanks for listening to this insane ramble of mine. I just felt like, hey, now's as good a time as any to reveal I'm a fan of the show and see what you all thought. Hopefully it doesn't matter in the long run. Take care.